Hello, Facebook. I had a little bit of a scary start there. Uh, welcome. My name is Tammy and I am the owner of Atta Girl Photography. I am a South Texas senior and wedding photographer and I also shoot high school sports. Uh, first of all, before we get started, I want to apologize for last night. If you joined my video and you tried to watch, uh, I had tons of sound problems. Apparently, I talked for about 12 minutes, sounding exactly like a chipmunk. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... <laughs> Hi, Karen. Uh, do I sound okay? Uh make sure that I have good sound before I continue any further. Uh, last night I also didn't know how to read the live comments, so I'm making sure I can do that as well tonight. Um, and then I last night I finally gave up and um, tried again tonight, and I actually am prepared a little bit better. I included some more slides in my presentation. So if you're tuning in again tonight, thank you so much for joining me. Um, before we get started, I also have a big announcement to make. Um, earlier today, I made plans to attend a workshop next year, a photography workshop in Scotland. It would be with three um, WPPI master photographers over the course of three days at a castle, and I am extremely excited to be attending this uh conference workshop. Um, it would be with two Malaysian photographers and one photographer from Greece. Um, actually, Nick Pekridis, the photographer that I just attended uh, earlier this month in Bernie with. So I'm really excited about that. I can't wait. Um, looking forward to it. So let's get started. Tonight, we are talking about how to plan for the secret proposal. I am going to give you some tips to let you know how to make it successful and try to keep it fun, hopefully to keep it a surprise, how to document it, and then hopefully how to turn it into an engagement session as soon as you're done proposing. Uh, in preparing for this live broadcast, I did some quick unofficial research and um, what I found is that 59% of U.S. proposals take place between Christmas Eve and New Year's Day. That's uh, nine days. If you think about it, that's really spectacular. Out of the whole year, almost 60% of proposals take place over the course of nine days. Of course, the other big day for proposals is Valentine's Days. These secret proposals are becoming very popular. In fact, um, the name for them are paparazzi proposals. And that's when you involve a photographer or a videographer to document it secretly uh, without the loved one knowing. So the way that you do this is you hire a photographer or videographer. So maybe you're lucky and your future fiance has already dropped a few hints about the dream wedding photographer that they would like to hire. Um, if they have, that's who you should go with. Contact them immediately. However, I must also ask that Make sure you do hire a photographer to cover this for you who utilizes a second shooter. It's very important um, to use a photographer or videographer who is going to utilize a second shooter. Um, that way, um, if someone walks in front of a key moment, you know, the when the moment she accepts or the moment there's a kiss or the moment you get down on your knee, if someone walks across, walks between you and the photographer with, you know, 20, 20 helium filled balloons or, um, I don't know, a big sign, there's two different angles that can be caught and that way a key moment isn't missed or you actually have a lot better chance of documenting it. So make sure that you hire someone who's going to be bringing two shooters, not just one. 
Um, the very next thing you need to do after hiring your uh, professional is ask her parents for their blessing. Now, I don't um, necessarily believe that this is, this is um, a must, but I do think it's proper. Uh, this is the modern age, you know, this isn't 1965 anymore. Um, I, I do believe this will provide your marriage a, a, a solid foundation. It'll show your future fiance's parents how much you care, and it'll also give you an opportunity to share a special moment with her. And I'll, I'll get um, a little bit more, I'll, I'll provide a little bit more information about that in, later on. Um, so when you ask for your parent, her parents' blessing, I also want you to document that either with a few photos or a video. So uh, after hiring the photographer, after getting the parents' blessing, the next thing you do is you need to create a reason for this occasion. The occasion uh, could be a company dinner, you're getting a promotion, your boss is in town, you have an informal interview with a, a new boss, or you're meeting some old college friends for dinner. And the reason you want to make it um, something a little extra special is because you want her to dress a little fancier than a regular date. You want to make sure her hair and her nails are done. You want to make sure that she's photo ready. If she is not photo ready and she discovers that you've secretly photographed her getting proposed to, and then you are proposing that she also takes part in an engagement, engagement session directly after that, she is not going to be very happy with you if she is not looking her best. So you need to create a reason that she is going to look her best for this occasion. Uh, after you've created this reason that she needs to get all fancied up, you need to make sure that your clothing coordinates with hers. So if she dresses fancy, you need to dress fancy. Uh, you need to make sure that your colors coordinate with hers. You don't want to show up looking um, mixed matched or a lot of different patterns going on. And if you have any problems um, figuring this out, your videographer or your photographer should be able to help you. The third thing you need to do is uh, do a little recon and scout the location prior to the shoot. You want to know exactly um, how the location is going to look on the day of the shoot. You want to know what the light is going to look like. You want to know what the crowd is going to be like. You want to know what the noise level is going to look like. You want to be totally prepared and know that this is going to be a good spot to propose to your fiance. You want to check that place's calendar of events to know that nothing is planned like a music festival or some sort of wrestling exhibition. And you also want to make sure that there are plenty of places for your photography crew to hide in so that they are um, out of sight. And um, invite them to come along with you. Uh, they should be willing to come along with you to make sure it's good, let you know which direction that they'll need you to face, where they're going to be hiding, and so forth. I would also advise that you create some sort of communication signals with your photography crew that indicate three things. Number one, you are good to go. We are on schedule. We are good to go. Let's rock this out. Number two, um, it's time to come out of hiding. We're done. Come on out. Let's get the engagement session started. Or, heaven forbid, Let's abort the mission. We're done. Um, you could receive a text in the middle of it with a family emergency. She could say no. You could change your mind. Uh, there's a million things that could happen. But if something goes wrong, you want your photography crew to stop. You don't want to document, document um, the wrong thing. So you need to let your photography crew know, cut it out. We're not doing this right now. 
um, plan the proposal earlier in, early enough in the day so that there's good light and so that you continue can continue the celebration um, with other festivities after the proposal and after the um, engagement session. And lastly, um, you need to make sure that your future fiance is up to a public proposal. Um, I don't even know if y'all can hear me during these pictures. I hope y'all can. Um, you know, if she doesn't enjoy being the center of attention, you might need to select a place that is low key and a lot less likely to be crowded. Don't be the guy um, that mortifies his girlfriend, you know, on the jumbotron during the NBA finals, only to have her shake her head no and run away crying. During the actual proposal, you know, if you're a very romantic, serious couple, plan uh, romantic things to say to her. If you're a silly couple, plan a silly way to ask. Speak from your heart um, and pick a, you might want to pick a spot that has significance to your relationship. Guys, I highly recommend this. If you want to gain lots of brownie points with her and with her parents, get down on that knee. Get down on your knee when you ask. And lastly, if there's any way at all to incorporate music, maybe you guys have a favorite song, do that. If you can uh, enlist the help of a band or a DJ, um, even if you can just play the song on, on your phone in your pocket, it will have significant impact. Do it. Um, after you've proposed, this is the time where you share those photos or that video of the day that you asked her parents for, you, for um, her hand in marriage. This is more brownie points that you're going to score with her. Um, and then again, when that's done, you can go straight into the engagement session that you've hired the uh, photography or the engagement crew for, and you just... Um, Time to capture all the new joy and happiness and emotion and excitement and let her rock, rock that ring. Uh, one other thing you can do is keep the surprises coming for the night. You know, don't stop at the proposal and the diamond. Plan a romantic date. Invite your parents and siblings out to dinner after the engagement session. Um, you can plan a surprise spa visit or maybe a secret weekend getaway. That way, you know, she gets to really soak in that ring and admire it all night or all weekend and really have a memorable, um, something to tell her children, her grandchildren about. So that's it guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you got some informative information, especially if you're planning a uh, secret paparazzi proposal. As always, you can follow me on, um, I got some infographics, Instagram, um, Twitter. You can follow me on Snapchat, LinkedIn, Google Plus, Flickr, and my blog. Um, please read my blog, guys. I put out a lot of good content on my blog. Um, if you have any ideas for a blog post or a Facebook live video, please feel free to drop me a comment and I will do my best to put it out there. And also, if you are a high school senior or a bride-to-be, be sure and check out my wedding resources and my high school resources uh, sections of my blog. There's all sorts of tips, tricks, and planning information that will help you out. And as always, be positive, happy, healthy, and be photographed, guys. Good night.